kitchen where it all happens, guys. Where we lose weight, where we gain weight, where we recover, everything happens in here. You don't get any of that from going to the gym. You don't get any of that from run, going out running. You don't get that from going on in front of the TV and doing a workout video. No, guys, that's just merely a stepping stone to what you want to reach your goals. It all happens in here, guys, in the kitchen. Now, guys, I got something here for you guys to reach any of your goals. Homemade protein bars. Now, I'll tell you guys how to, um, you know, tweak it to fit, you know, what you guys want to do, your goals. So what do we got here? We have, first and foremost, we have our uh, measuring spoons. We measure all the stuff that we got. We have a pan here. Now, you notice all these, these bars in here. I bought this one just, just, for, just for this, just for this recipe. Just because obviously they're bars and we're making protein bars here. Plus, if you wanted to have a uh, regular pan, you know, it might, you know, you just have to cut them and all that kind of stuff. So. I bought this one just for this recipe here for the protein bars because they're already going to be shaped as bars. Uh, we have a bowl that we're going to mix all our stuff in and uh, let's just get into it. So first and foremost we got the base of it all, our protein guys. Protein, protein, protein. Now I have a lean chocolate protein here. Chocolate and vanilla to be honest you really can't taste the difference in this but uh, what do I mean by lean? Lean protein is a low calorie, low carbohydrate but in high in protein. Now, if you guys were trying to gain weight and stuff like that, you would want to obviously have the calories and have the carbohydrates um, added in your protein. So I do four scoops of these in here. And just to remind you guys, what I'm doing here, this is gonna give me about six to eight protein bars. So just keep that in mind when you're making them. If you wanna make more, then obviously um, just double it up here. So that's three and four. So what we got next, guys, is uh, our flax powder. Our flax powder acts as our flour. It obviously has our uh, omega-3 fatty acids that your body can't produce. Um, it also, you know, it's high in fiber. So we do three scoops of these. Now I got the tablespoon here, three tablespoons of this. I just use a regular spoon for some of this stuff because I don't want to get all the other crap on it. So next we have our ginger powder. Why well, ginger powder is so good? You know, it's good for our immune system, our stomach health, digestion. You know, it's anti-cancer. It helps in inflammatory. So. We're going to do two tablespoons of this. I got my big old tablespoon. Double it up here. So two tablespoons of this. Next we got our cinnamon. Ground cinnamon. Why is ground cinnamon so good? It's a lot like the ginger powder. A lot of the same effects. It's anti-cancer. It lowers cholesterol. It's anti-clotting. Um, it's a... Uh, you know, it's just high in nutrients. It helps a lot. Again, in anti-inflammatory. So two tablespoons of that also. What we got next is our pumpkin spice. Now this is, pumpkin spice basically guys, is a, just a, it's a mixture of a, uh, loaded with nutrients. It's just a mixture of all spices. It has, you know, some ginger and some cinnamon in it, just like we're using here. So, and the pumpkin here is going to give you a lot of the flavor in the, in the protein bars. So another two tablespoons of that. Now next guys, we have um, our, our stevia here. What this is, it's a natural sweetener. No carb, no calorie. You know, it helps lower blood sugar. You know, it aids in um, calcium formation in your body. Now I have packets here. You might want, you know, they do have just regular powder that you can use, so. I do eight packets. There they are. So 
dump those in there. So now next guys, like I was saying, so I'll show you guys how to tweak it and stuff like that to fit your needs. Well, we got glutamine next. And glutamine, guys, you know, it's going to help in a lot in the recovery of our muscles. You definitely want this in here regardless of what you're trying to do, gain weight, lose weight. You regardless, you want that you want this glutamine in here. So it just depends on how much you want in there. Just go ahead and put that in. Next we have our almond butter. Almond butter is great guys. Just don't use the regular tablespoon for this. You do uh, uh, six scoops, six tablespoons of this. So it's quite a lot. But this guys, you have the good proteins in here. Your good fats, your poly and monosaturated fats guys. It's going to be easily digested. It's just so good for you guys. It's going to add a lot of taste, a lot of flavor. So you just want to get as much in there as you can. <laughs> just make sure you wash your hands before this too. Well, you're eating them, so it's okay. Get your own crap on there. But again, guys, this is so good for you. It helps a lot in digestion. It gives you, you know, it's not like that regular peanut butter. And there that has all the saturated fats and stuff like that in there. You don't want any of that. Mmm. It was good too. So next we have our pecans. Pecans, just regular nuts, guys. You know, again, there's good proteins, just like um, in the almond butter. Are good fats. And it and it tastes really good too. So all right, so after that, you just gotta add your uh, half a cup of water in there, and they're gonna mix it all up into a nice, so it's nice and you know thick and pasty, so we can turn them into our bars. So go ahead and mix that up real good. Yeah, guys, so you just wanna make sure that it's nice and nice and thick, so you can distribute distribute all the uh, nutrients pretty even. Alright guys, so next thing you guys want to do is just try to make them as even as possible. So all the bars, not one's bigger than the other and stuff like that. So it's not it's not that easy. But if you guys don't have one of these bar pans, you can basically just you know put it all in that in your baking pan and cut them up even whenever you guys are whenever it's cooked. So I got the oven right now. You want to preheat it to uh, 400 degrees. So just do that before you, you start doing this so you're not wasting any time. But like I said, this is going to make about six, six to eight bars. It just depends really on how good I make it even here. All right, guys, just preheated the oven to uh, 400 degrees. We got all our bars ready. I made seven of them. So like I said, six to eight. So I made seven of them. Uh, so we just gotta wait. Get your uh, get your timer ready. Set it at uh, 15 minutes. You wanna do this for 15 minutes in there. And get them in there. See you in 15 minutes. Right, guys they are done get them out of here don't burn yourself getting them out and that's that guys perfect now you guys want to see if they're done just grab a toothpick and just stick them in there and if it comes out then we're good right <laughs> I got I could take these anywhere it's so convenient that's a good thing it was so so easy to make and you know it took 15 minutes to make them well guys like convenience there's a fine line between between convenience and stupidity guys like stupidity stupidity is thinking that mcdonald's is convenient for you but yeah it might taste good then but tomorrow when you're a fat ass is that gonna be you know was that was that worth the convenience like the convenience guys is taking the time 
the 20 minutes to make these and when you get hungry tomorrow or the next day or throughout the week convenience is bringing one of these with you and you and taking that instead of instead of making a bad choice like some fast food restaurant or something like that where you're gonna regret it tomorrow these tomorrow I guarantee you will not regret so I'm gonna get I'm gonna get going on these hopefully they're not too hot I don't burn myself but thanks for watching guys we'll see you next time